Hey everyone, it's Mike Adams here with Elf Automation and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a membership website using Kartra. And I got to tell you guys, this is one of those features that is gonna save you a ton of money. Uh, for those of you guys that have done the research and looking at other uh, sites where you can you know, host your uh, membership, membership website or host, you know, maybe you have a course or a digital course that you're looking to sell and you're providing value. Well, to host that course on a website like Teachable, um, you know, you're gonna be running anywhere from 70 to $100 per month just for the ability to have a membership website or a course website where you can sell your course. So the great thing about Kartra is that you can build unlimited web, uh, unlimited membership websites inside of Kartra and it's all a part of your plan. So huge savings there, especially for those of you guys that have a digital course. I know I have a couple of digital courses that I'm selling and so this is a very powerful, powerful tool. And again, if you're not already using Kartra, again, I, I cannot emphasize enough how powerful it is. I've said that like 10 times now, but it's powerful. And uh, it just helps you replace so many different so softwares and systems that are required to really build um, a fully automated you know, business and, and really get your business online. So if you're not already using it, uh, click the link. There'll be a link below this video where you can get yourself a $1 14-day trial of Kartra and put this system to the test. Uh, we've even taken the time to put together a step-by-step -step video training series literally showing you uh, from A to Z exactly how to get an automated sales funnel set up so that way you can follow along with that step-by-step -step and you'll be generating leads for your business in no time. So again, those links will all be below the video. Uh, but in this training, guys, I want to walk you through exactly how to set up a membership website so that way you can utilize it inside of your business right away. And again, this is great if you have a digital course that you're selling. This would be a great platform to host and sell that course as well. So over here on the left, you can see where it says my memberships right here. And we're going to go ahead and give that a click. And what's cool is inside of Kartra, you can, again, you can create a straight up membership website. And then when you end up having multiple membership websites, you can create actually uh, right here on the sub menu, a portal, okay, which is a membership portal for all of your different memberships. So perhaps you've joined other courses in the past where you paid for this course, but you can see that they have another course and another course and another course all available, you know, and, and you can unlock all these different courses, you know, a portal um, is a, you know, really like a one stop or like, a, as it says right here, a centralized portal for all your different membership websites. So you can, you know, as, as eventually, uh, you'll be able to use yourself a membership portal. But for now, I want to walk you through exactly how to set up a membership website so that way you can get your first one in place. And then as you get rolling, you can uh, get yourself into creating portals for all your different memberships. So here we go. On, on the right down here, we've got the pulsating plus again for our memberships. Go ahead and give that a click and we're gonna name this membership website. So, you know, again, if you have your own digital course or, or digital uh, education uh, learning system that, that you got out there, you can put that name in right here. So for an example, I'm just gonna put this as test membership, uh, test, so test lead generation course. Okay, let's say I got a course teaching people how to generate leads online. And I'm gonna go ahead and click create. And as you can see right here, there's gonna be some steps that we're gonna go through to completely create this, um, create this entire course, you know, or this entire membership website. Uh, the fantastic thing about this is you have the ability to give this away as a free uh, membership course. So if you have free training, uh, if you have a, a team, you know, that you want to have access to your, you know, team training uh, website, you can create it as free or you can create it as a paid product that people pay money and they gain access to your membership site or your course site. So a really powerful tool. Okay, so we'll put our name in here of test lead generation course, okay? And uh, for the description, you know, again, you would put something, you know, what is it that they're gonna learn inside this course? So we are gonna teach you how to generate leads online fast. Okay, that's what everybody wants, right? Uh, from there, uh, you also need to create what's called a promotional sales page. Okay, so this is where you'd wanna have a page already done and already set up that's actually you know, selling the course. Okay, and to do that really quick. Okay, so let's say I'm just gonna open up my pages in a new tab here. 
and we're just gonna go ahead and grab a quick page, okay, that we'll use as kind of our test course sales website. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a template here, okay, and again, that, that's the beauty of Kartra, is you can quickly and easy pump out these templates and kind of get yourself uh, rolling, get yourself uh, up and ready, and then from there you can improve on things as needed. But I'm gonna grab a video sales page here, I love using video, okay, and then from there, we'll just use an easy, simple one, kind of like this one right over here. Okay, you can preview it if you want to, but we don't need to. I'm just gonna click Select, and we're going to launch the builder. Okay, and so this is gonna be our course. So test, lead, generation, course, sales, page, okay? And for now, I'm gonna leave the category blank and the website I'm gonna leave blank as well. Again, um, as you end up having more pages, you can categorize these pages. You can also uh, assign each page to a website. So again, uh, that's really powerful because there are global settings when it comes to like the SEO, when it comes to tracking links, okay? And, and if you're new, you might be thinking, what are you talking about, Mike? But when you get to a point where you wanna add, you know, Facebook pixels or Google Analytics to your website so that way you can get more tracking, um, you know, you would have to do it page by page by creating what's called a site, and then you can tag all your different pages that are attached to a certain site. You can then make global changes quickly and easily. Um, we'll dive deeper on that in a future video. For now, let's go ahead and create this course sales page real quick. And I'm gonna click Create. Okay, so again, you know, we're not, and we're, you know, and obviously with this page right here, you know, you can see it's got a lot of things. It's already essentially done for us. You know, everything is really already here. Uh, this would be a great place to put a video. Um, you know, and what we'll do is just to kind of make this easy. Okay, I just want to make this a simple page. I'm going to go ahead and delete this menu header. Okay, I'm just going to delete that section out of there for now. But um, again, you would change this. You know, watch to learn more. So I could, I could change the text here a little bit. Watch the video below to learn more about our oop, awesome course, okay? You know, I could put my picture over there, you know, I'm not Marty Martin over here, but uh, either way, you could put in some details about your course, you have a little video on this page about your course, and again, if you didn't want the video, you could delete this, okay? Um, you could put the price on here if you want to, um, you know, you may wanna leave that blank, um, and again, here's some additional credibility. Again, there's different images online that you may want to use here. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get rid of that. Actually, you know, just kind of looking at some of this stuff. And I just kind of want to keep it simple. So let's, you know, get rid of this. You know, we'll leave, you know, what would this look like without this? Yeah, I kind of like that. It's even, even simpler, okay? So, you know, click below to learn more. So let's just change the text because now there's no video. So click the button below to gain instant access to our awesome lead generation course. Okay, so perhaps the, you know, and again, you know, you would have to make sure that some good pre-framing has been done. Uh, so let's say they are coming from your YouTube channel or coming from your social media where they've already learned, you know, about your course and have some of the details on it. So again, this would be, again, just a simple, simple, simple page just to use for our example here. And so, so here's our sales page. And from now, from there, I'm just gonna leave it right here. Again, you would wanna uh, change all this to where it lines up with your course, put your picture in there, all that good stuff. Uh, but either way, I'm gonna go ahead and click save on this. And we're just gonna leave it as this, nice and simple, nice and easy. But the cool thing is that, you know, it's just that simple to grab a template, get it there, and then from there, if you wanted to take 10, 15 minutes to go ahead and tweak all this text to, to suit your particular course, that's all it would take to get your sales page ready using Kartra. Okay, so I'm gonna close this right here, and then I'm gonna uh, save and publish. I think I just did that. <laughs> Okay, and so from there, we're gonna go to return to dashboard and then click exit. So now we've created ourselves a little sales page or a little test sales page 
for our membership website. So let's go back to the other tab where we're back here in my memberships. I'm gonna go ahead and hit refresh just so that way the action that we just took um, as, as is now noticed inside of this page. You know, you always wanna make sure to refresh the page if you're using multiple tabs. Okay, and so now that we've refreshed the page, we're gonna scroll down here and go back to right where we were, which was sales promotional page. I'm gonna change this from external URL to Kartra pages. Select site, no site in particular, and then what page, and we're gonna use the um, test lead generation course sales page. I'm gonna enter that right there. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Now you do have the choice, again, depending on what kind of course this is. If this is a free course, um, you could say no password required and people can just go ahead and get plugged into this course free access. You know, it's all day. You can, you can dive in there and you can, they can dive into your course right away. But for our purposes, we're going to want to have a password on this. People have to either opt in for this or they may even have to pay for this to get in. So let's leave it at that and we'll click save. And then we're going to go save and next. And see, now this is where you're going to enter the actual builder. So how is it that you want your course to actually look or your membership website to actually look online? And so this is where you're going to enter the actual builder, okay? And so I'm going to click that. And so it gives you a great little tutorial here, okay? Um, and we can zip right through this. It kind of tells you what everything means. I'm actually just going to click through this because I'm actually going to walk you right through it. Um, but when you see this yourself, if you don't know what all these headers mean over there and you want those definitions, you can take the time to go through this little uh, tutorial that Kartra is providing for you here, okay? All right, I'm gonna say don't show again, let's get started. Okay, so here we are inside of the builder for our membership website. And to start, what you'd wanna do is, first off, you wanna create your sidebar content. And this is typically gonna be you know, your information, how they can contact you. Um, we're gonna go ahead and drag, and here's your options for host content, okay? So for that, or I'm sorry, for sidebar content, you can put that right here. And I'm actually just gonna drag the host over here. And you'll see it kind of gives you like a little authority bubble, okay? You can also put a banner you know, above or below, you know, right there. If you wanted to put like a logo or something like that, you could certainly add that. If you wanted to sell a different product, you know, right here on the sidebar, I could drop this right here. And, you know, let's say, you know, on top of this membership course, you know, I got some consulting available. And we, in a previous video, I walked you through how to set up a product and we set up a one-on-one -on -one consulting package as a product. So let's say I wanted to add that to this membership site and kind of have that floating uh, over here uh, under my name. So that way, if they're inside of this membership website and they're like, hey, I really like this. I want to, you know, book a one-hour strategy call with this guy. It's right there for them to click and make that additional purchase from you. Okay, so either way, that's the kind of stuff you can put on your sidebar here. And what you'd want to do is you could take this and you could edit. Um, you could add some of your social media links here. You could put your email in. So let's say you got a YouTube channel and you also have a Facebook link. Okay, and you could put that link. Okay, I'm just going to type in Google. Okay, and you could put those links, you know, right there. I can, you know, you can give yourself a title if you want to. Okay, entrepreneur. Okay. For the silhouette, you could always add a picture there as well. Okay. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and click save. So that'd be where you'd add all that and you could put those links right in there. And so now when it comes to, you know, and again, there, and also there's a spot right up here for you to add your logo if you want to put one. But as you can see, this is kind of the home page. So let's say, and in most courses, you know, you're probably going to have a video or a training right up front, uh, right up front to show people, you know, what to expect out of this course, you know, how to get the most out of your course right here. So perhaps what you want to do is you want to create a video about that. And you could take that video and you could drag it over here. And so now right when people log into your course, and it's going to ask me right away for the video, and you can either have that as a YouTube link, Okay, you could have that as you know a Kartra video, so you've uploaded it to Kartra and it's right there for you. Okay, okay, so let's just use a YouTube video. I'm just gonna borrow one of my uh, video links from one of my YouTube channels, and that way I can save it just so you can kind of see what it would look like here. And so now, okay, and this is one of my you know why I created this channel uh, videos, uh, and really, so now this video would be good to go. 
And ideally what I'd want to do, because I don't want people getting lost in YouTube land, okay, what I would do is take the video file itself and upload it to Kartra so that way people are staying right here in your course. But I just wanted to add a video just that way you kind of see what it would look like. And so again, I would update the picture here. Okay, I would get my social media links in right below that, okay, step by step. And then from there, this would be a decent, you know, homepage for your course, obviously once you add in your logo. And so now you can create additional sections, okay? And so up here where it says new category, I could take this and drag it here. Oh, I could take it and I could drag it out here. And drop it on that spot. And so let's say this was gonna be lesson number one, okay? And from there I can click save. And now I have an entire another page that people can go ahead and click on to get lesson number one. And, and once you now once you have this, you're gonna go over here where it says new post and you're gonna drag that into lesson number one, okay? And so, um, and again, you can use different icons here if you wanted to add an image for it. So post name is gonna be lesson number one. Description, this is the first thing. Okay, and category is lesson number one. I'm gonna click save. And notice that it added our um, sidebar okay, um, that we had on the homepage, it added it right here. So every step of the way, the sidebar will be the same as they go from lesson to lesson. Okay, so again, you know, for lesson one, let's say you got a video uh, where you're gonna provide some training. And again, I'll just use the same video link that I borrowed from my YouTube channel, uh, just to put a video in there, just kind of as a, a block, something to, to go in the space. And then from there, I could put a divider right below it. And let's say I had a download that went along with this. Wow, okay, and again, those files, uh, we showed you in another video how you can upload files to your Kartra system so that, so that way you can use them as giveaways either inside of your membership course or as a lead magnet. Again, that video link will be below this video. And again, all we need to do now is we could set up a button, okay? and we would have that button go to the link. So let's say, you know, download this tool. Okay, and you could select destination and you would put external URL, okay? And from there, and now, and, and again, if you've already uploaded some files to your Kartra system, again, you come into My Memberships, I'm in a new tab here, uh, My Memberships, go to Files, okay? And for every file that you upload, there'll be a direct download link. So here's the file, and then here's the get URL, give that a click. And I could take this and copy this entire link. And then from there, I can add that here, okay? And I could have it open in a new tab. And let me see this, it looks like it's trying to double HTTP on me, so let me close that. And notice it wouldn't let me save it, okay? It doesn't let you put a bad link in there, which is really, really cool. So this is done, so I can click save. And now there'll be a button right below here that people can click to go ahead and get that file that I uploaded for them, okay? And so, and you would literally just continue to follow this process step by step. Okay, so that's lesson one, it's all set up, I'm good to go. Um, let's grab a new category. And again, you wanna put them in order here. And then now I can create lesson number two. All right, I'm gonna put new post. So this is the, when it says new post, it's uh, same as like, you know, new category or new uh, menu header inside of your course here. Again, this post name is gonna be lesson number two. Okay, the description, this is the second thing. Okay, and then I would click save. And again, I would follow that same process. Notice it populated everything that we put um, on the sidebar over here. Again, the description could be different than what I'm leaving in here. I'm just naming, you know, kind of the name of the post is lesson number two. And again, I could, I could change that. You know, if I wanted something a little bit more detailed there, I could certainly put it there, okay? 
Um, and then from there, if I wanted to add a video, or perhaps this one is just, again, it could be just downloads, it could just be a text file, you know, whatever it is you want. Perhaps you have a written message you wanna put here. You know, whatever the case may be. Maybe it's just an audio, you know, that you want for them. So either way, you could continue this process and build out all of your lessons right here um, inside of Kartra following the same process. Uh, for now, we're just gonna leave it at two lessons. So let's, let's go ahead and populate it. You know, let's throw a video in there. And again, I'm just gonna use the same YouTube video link that I've been using for the past lessons because again, this is just an example. Okay, but you, again, and I, and I wouldn't recommend using YouTube links inside of a course, especially if it's a paid course. If it's a free course, that's fine. If they're hosted on YouTube, that's fine. Uh, but if you want the data and you want the analytics, and, if, and definitely if this is a paid course, people don't wanna think that uh, stuff that's inside of your paid course is available for everybody for free on YouTube. They're gonna feel like they might have gotten ripped off. So you're gonna wanna take those files and upload them to Kartra, and that way they are, um, you know, any of this, you know, go check out YouTube links. None of that stuff will be on your, on your video, okay? Uh, throw a divider in there. Okay, I'm just dragging that over, drop it here. And then again, let's say I had another button and I had a new file, you know, that I, or a new giveaway or something to help them um, with their business. Download this second tool now. Okay, and again, I would select um, external URL and I'm just gonna use that same one that we had before. Click that here. It's HTTPS. Make sure it's not doubled up like this. As you can see, it won't let me save. So I can get rid of that and get rid of that, and now I can save it. Down this second tool now. <laughs> okay, so download, right, is what you'd want it to say. So let's change that. Okay, so good enough. And so, um, and from there, and I would also set this to, because I don't want them to leave the membership site per se. So there's one more thing I want to make sure to put, open it up in a new tab so that way they are still where they were, but yet they can go ahead and download um, whatever it is that you uploaded, whatever file you had available for them, okay? So, and again, and I would just rinse and repeat that process. You could add another lesson. You could have multiple videos inside of each lesson so you could build this down a little bit. So you can really customize this thing and build it however you want. But we're just gonna leave it at that. Just, just a homepage, two lessons inside of this course. Again, you can make it as big as you want. Okay, um, I'm gonna click the arrow over here. I'm gonna click Save Progress. And then from there, I'm gonna go Save and Exit. And what we're gonna see here is we're gonna see a couple of options, okay? And so this is gonna be kind of um, what your course is going to look like online. And there's a couple of different layouts that you can use, okay? So up top here are the different templates and you can see how it'll change the layout. Notice it put the sidebar over on the right this time. You know, this one here has a different looking sidebar, okay? So it's, it's different. So you can choose whichever of these templates uh, you see fit. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick with the standard and use the first one, but you can also change the color scheme. So let's say your main website or your main logo has a certain color scheme and you wanna maintain that here. Let's say you had um, you know, like a, a black um, logo, so you can change that. So you can pick your template, okay, and then you can choose which color. And then from there, we're gonna click Save and Exit. Okay, and so now we have our basic framework for our course. We're gonna go ahead and finish out the, the process here. From there, I'm gonna click Save and, and, and Next. And now it's gonna ask me, do I want to enable comments? So if I have um, video there, I may want people to put comments, I may not, right? Uh, but you have the ability to choose that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and enable comments, because again, if I have training in here, I wanna make my course as, as good as I can make it. And if people have questions or comments about the video that can help me improve it, I want them to be able to put it in there. And from there, I'm gonna click Save, and it's gonna give you the option, okay? You can just automatically have those comments um, approved, or all of them need to be approved by the admin, which is you. And I'd highly recommend this, okay? Um, you know, if you get a upset person uh, who's looking at your membership website or your course, and again, I, I know this not from experience with any of my courses, but uh, on YouTube, uh, you know, I have multiple channels, so you'll get some people on there that make comments that you may not want underneath your video. 
So uh, for me, it makes sense to always have it approved by the admin so that way it's a comment that you want others to see. Certainly if it's questions, positive feedback, you can go ahead and approve those and then adjust um, your course as you see fit. Okay, so I'm gonna put that I want them all approved. Click save right here. And then I'm gonna click save and next. The next step is you can create access levels. So let's say, you know, and, and for this simplicity, we're just gonna have one access level. Once they gain access to the course, they can you know, have access to all the different lessons. But if you wanted to, you can create access levels. So let's say you wanted, okay, well you only get lesson one at this level. If you want access to lesson two, you gotta join in at this second level. Okay, and so you can add tiers to your membership. That's what this is all about. Uh, to keep it simple, we're just gonna make it one level across the board. We'll click Save. We'll go Next. Uh, this part right here is about the progress. So if you wanted to set up a progress meter, so as people go through your lessons, do you wanna have a little bar across the bottom that you know, lets them know uh, the percentage of the course that they've completed? So you can, you can do that. And you have two options with that. You can either A, force the linear progression, or B, you can display the progress but not force linear progression. So let's say they, you wanna make sure that they go lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, lesson four in order. You know, you would then uh, click this one right here so that way it forces them to go down that exact path. If you wanna show the progress, but yet you don't wanna force them, you know, maybe you want to allow them to jump around inside of your course, um, and depending on the course, that's what most people are probably going to want to, you know, have it set up to where you can jump around a little bit. Um, but again, if you wanted to have it to where it shows their progress, but yet doesn't force them down a specific linear path, you would choose this option here. Okay, and that's what I'm going to choose. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Okay, and then Save and Next. From there, if you wanted to use a help desk, so if you wanted to set up a customer support help desk, and again, you know, there's two ways you can do it with your membership course. Obviously, you can put your email and your contact info right on that sidebar there. Um, or if you wanted to have a specific help desk, maybe you have someone on your team that you're having manage the questions that are coming in from the course, you can create a help desk and, and we'll do that in a separate video. But here's where you'd be able to add that help desk to your membership website. Okay, for now, we're gonna leave it blank. And then we're gonna go save and next. And this part right here is super, super, super cool. So when somebody joins your membership website, you can have this set up to where it will automatically send an email to your users with their username and credentials. Okay, so you don't have to do anything. Okay, if somebody buys the course from you, you don't have to jump online and be like, okay, now I have to send, set them up with credentials so that way they can log in. You don't have to do that. You can go ahead and set up a welcome email right here upon subscription to the membership website. Okay, and what I'll do is I would put, um, you know, who do you want the email to come from? So I might put this as support. Okay, and all the reply emails can go to the same place. Okay, and I'll click save. And right here is the welcome message. And you can see it's already set up and done for you. You can certainly change it. You can brand this email if you wanted to, but it's set up as a nice, easy, basic email with the login information. Okay, so again, they're gonna automatically get um, the login direct page. So they'll get an email with the page. They'll get the email they use to sign up for the course. And then by default, Kartra will create them a strong password to use to log in. Okay, but we're gonna leave this as is, nice and easy. We'll click Save. And then we'll click Save and Next. Now from there, um, you have the option to do some automations. So let's say they have um, signed up for your course and you wanna go ahead and add a tag or maybe you wanna add them to a list or perhaps you wanna even add them to an email sequence that you've already set up. So this is where you would do that, okay? And let's say we wanna add a tag. So I'm gonna click Change and then I'm gonna say yes, I wanna assign a tag, and I'm actually gonna create a new tag because we haven't created a tag for this. And I'm just gonna put in here, signed up for lead generation course, okay? And that'll be the description, so that way I know. 
Okay, and from there, I will add that to my alpha automation category where we have all of our other tags. Okay, and if you need more training on how to set up additional tags, uh, there is a link below this video where we showed you how to set up a list and set up tags. Pretty simple, but again, there's a video step-by-step. -step, uh, the link will be below this video here. Go ahead and click Create. And then I'm gonna add this tag. Okay, so whenever anybody signs up for the course, they're gonna get this tag attached to them inside of the CRM that they've signed up for the lead generation course. And from there, I could use this tag to trigger uh, other automations. I could use it to add them to a sequence, okay? So the tagging is very, very powerful. And again, as far as lists, so, uh, sequences, you could automatically subscribe them to a sequence if you wanted to. But again, I like to use the tags to trigger different sequences. So we're just gonna leave those blank for now, okay? Go ahead and click save and, and next. And from there guys, that's it. That is it. Um, the next step to this is if you wanted to make this a paid product, would be to follow this prompt right here and go to the product section where you can actually turn your membership website into a paid product. Uh, we're, gonna handle, we're gonna handle that part of it in a future training. Uh, but hopefully you guys got value in this step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to set up your membership website using Kartra. Again, this is just one of those features of Kartra that I absolutely love and it saves you a ton of money, especially if you're a course creator, you have digital, digital products out there or digital education out there that you're wanting to sell, or even if it's a free membership website that you wanna make available to your team, again, you can do that inside of Kartra and save that additional expense of bringing in an outside uh, software. So hopefully you guys found value in this training. If you did, make sure to give it a comment, give it a like below, and I will see you in the next video.